Gale shot out of a cannon. Two goals in the opening minute, including this one by Connor Latimer. Peter Laidlaw would respond as the teams would trade goals early on. And from there, Dylan Goddard, he's going to take this, run into some space, and fires past Dustin Hanzelka. And he might like a second shot at that goal. Now Luke Laskowitz is just going to turn Justin Haynes inside out, and he would score. While that goal is still being announced, Austin Shanks, he's going to bury this one. That's going to make it 4-1 to one early on for the Gales as they take charge of this game. Now after Jesse Copeland cut the lead to 5-2, to two, it's Shanks again, benefiting from the nice pass from Latimer. The explosive first period is capped off by Michael McDonald over the shoulder of Neil Roberts, 6-3 after 2. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who predicted nine goals in that first period. Second period, things slow down a touch, but it's all Gales on the special teams. Latimer, the power play goal. The Gales would chase in Zelka as Gavin Lecky takes over for a while in relief. Lecky's one of his first assignments of the game, though, and he is a fool by this long-range shot from Levick. That's going to make it 9-3 to for the Green Gales. Laskowitz punctuates the second period by ringing up this shorthanded marker. It's a seven-goal lead for the Green Gales after two periods of play. Third period now starts with some hope for the Bulldogs as they cut the gap on the power play. Brendan McDonald makes it 10-4. However, any momentum the Dogs might have had snuffed out by Jordan Saunderson on the power play. Both teams can start making plans for the weekend because there will be no game four. There will be no game number five. At the end of this one, four minutes and four seconds to go. Things start to boil over. Both teams involved. A few fighting majors and even a few things that we just don't care to even show you because it's just not good for the game. Justin Reed chalks up 50 minutes worth of penalties in this one. It's a three-game sweep for the Gales, 16-6 was the final. That will now take on either Aquasosny or the Oakville Buzz in the next round. For the Gales, this one feels good after losing to Halton Hills the last two years in a row. It's good. You know, demons of the past, yes. Whenever you get beat by a team twice uh, in the past two years, yeah, you want to beat them. And that's just the way it is, right? But, you know, all in all, I thought our work ethic and the way we went about it was, was personal, and they took it personal, and they, they really showed that, you know, when it comes down to playoff lacrosse, you got to dig deep, and they dug deep, and it was very, very great lacrosse. They played the last three games. I'm very proud of them. Uh, um, being a fifth-year guy, you know, I've been going against these guys every single year. Uh, it's always a battle. This is, like, luckily enough, it was a sweep, but, you know, everyone's going out there, a lot of injuries, a lot of guys battling through things, same as always, and uh, just happy to get it over with, and it definitely feels uh, pretty good to knock them off. Honestly, we've just been being really level, like, uh, just even, on an even keel, you know, even when we're down two or three goals, we're always heads up. Everyone's uh, just patting each other on the back and after each other. And, you know, Cross always says uh, you go out there shift by shift, champions are one, shift by shift, not game by game. So you go there brick by brick and you go there play by play and do whatever you can. And uh, as long as you do the job, everything luckily hopes it goes out your way.